Hey, this is Fernando coming to you from uh, beautiful Victoria here in Australia with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. And uh, very early today, it's uh, 7 a.m. The sun, I think, is not even quite out yet. It's just coming out. I've got a few friends here I uh, thought I'd share with you. <laughs> All right, today's, today's message. Um, the power of perspective in helping you break through any challenge that you may be facing uh, in your business. So uh, perspective is uh, one of the higher faculties of our mind and unfortunately most people uh, go through life just operating from the objective world and uh, how we're connected to the objective world is through our five senses, touch, taste, smell, uh, hear and uh, whatever the other one is. Right? So five senses we're probably all familiar with and they're like our data entry ports into our, into our mind. We consume information from the outside world and unfortunately, most people, that's as far as they go. They re react um, to that information that is coming to them through, through these data entry ports, through these five senses. Uh, but if you've been following along with me <clears throat> throughout these Facebook uh, lives, through the messages that I put out, you know that there are actually higher faculties in our mind that if we develop like mental muscles, we're going to be unstoppable. And one of those faculties I want to talk about today is perspective. And perspective is nothing more then our point of view. Uh, so what is our point of view? So every situation that we're ever faced with, um, we can cause ourselves to stop and reflect and look at it from a different point of view. But it doesn't happen automatically, right? It's something that we have to develop just like we need to work out our muscles when we go into the gym to get stronger. And so I want to share with you a quick exercise that's going to, put, uh, going to give you perspective, there you go, to use the word. Um, but think about this for one moment, and I learned this from a gentleman many years ago who had a PhD in thinking, right? And uh, the example is, if you think about having a square, you've got a square with, uh, actually you've got nine squares, right? Nine squares, three rows each, okay? And you fit the numbers one to nine across, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine numbers in nine squares. My question to you is... How many different possible arrangements can I have of those nine numbers in those nine squares? And if you know the answer, let me know. Uh, that's pretty cool. But most people think it's only nine. You know, I can arrange it nine ways. Some people think I can arrange it uh, 81 times because I've got nine squares, uh, nine numbers, nine nines are 81, so therefore 81 times. Uh, and, you, and that's actually not too bad, right? 81 times, that means 80, 81 different ways that I can look at a situation, right? Nine squares with nine numbers. But the truth is that there are, in fact, 362,880 different ways that I can rearrange nine numbers in those nine squares, okay? It's called nine factorial, if, you're, uh, if you love maths. Uh, that's the, the formula, that's the calculation. So when you think about that, right, here's a problem. I have nine numbers in nine squares. I think that that's, that's a problem because that's all I can see. And there is, in fact, 362,000 different other possibilities. Now, if we have that mental awareness, right, if we can look at that and say, man, if that's possible here, how many more different ways can I look at a challenge that I'm facing today in my business? And so we have to force ourselves to stop and say, well, this is just one way. And it's a habit, right? This is just one way. What is a different way that I can look at this that's going to help me feel better uh, and come up with other resources to help me overcome this challenge today? It may be the way that you are approaching a prospect. It might be um, something specifically within the business. It might be how to overcome an objection. Like There could be a thousand different things, right? But the most important thing here is to know, number one, that there is a faculty in your mind, a mental muscle called perspective, that if you're willing to develop, it's going to help you to actually stop and explore. Because what happens for most people is uh, they tend to react to the situation. So they'll look at a problem, they'll get stuck, they'll get frustrated, and they'll just be paralyzed. Whereas if you have that awareness now that there are 362,880 different other ways to look at a problem, then you can say, well, what's another way? And then what you're doing is you're instructing your subconscious mind, that heart of hearts of yours, to go out and find an answer for you. 
right? So you're actually engaging your higher faculties to work in your favor. And then you're going to be able to overcome and continue to move forward and fulfill the purpose for which you're called, which is to serve other people uh, through your vehicle, through your business, through your opportunity. So I hope that makes sense for you today. Uh, never again you'll ever be stuck again because now you know that there's a mental muscle called perspective and as you develop that as you continue to ask yourself the question what is another way I can look at that the answers are going to come the problem for most people actually when you think about it is that the, the questions they're asking themselves are not very empowering it's like what do I do now I'm stuck um, you know we sort of just get caught up in the problem whereas if we ask better questions then typically better answers come. What's another way? How else could I look at this? What resources could I attract? Who could I engage that might have experience in this area? Who could help me? So I hope that makes a difference for you today. Uh, that's the message. So, who have we got here? Hey, Patrick. Uh, thanks for joining in, brother. Good to see you there. Um, awesome. Great to see you getting value in that. So what have you said there? So many ways to overcome your challenges, your perspective can grow if you work on your own. Yeah, perfect, right? And so growing and personal growth has got to be an ongoing thing, right? We can't just stop growing, you know. So it's, like, it's everywhere in nature, isn't it, Patrick? Everywhere in nature, we see that if we're not growing, we're dying like a fruit on a tree. So there's, there's got to be that personal commitment, right, to growth. Right? We've got to have a personal commitment to grow so that we can better serve. It's like uh, the way that I look at it is, imagine... If you go back years ago, um, we had DOS, you know, the disk operating systems in computers. Uh, we had the Amiga 2000s, the Amiga 64. Now that's sort of revealing my age a little bit. But imagine trying to operate a Mac today with a, with a software of an Amiga 64. It's just not going to happen, right? Uh, and imagine the things that we can do now that we couldn't do back then. And that only is possible because that software has been upgraded. We, as human beings have to continue to upgrade our software so we can better operate in today's changing environment uh, with the challenges that, are, um, that we have today in our businesses and everything that we're trying to do. Hey Becky, uh, thanks for joining, good to see you here. So I hope you found value in this message and if, did, if you did find something valuable here, I wanna invite you to comment below, let me know your thoughts. Uh, do take a moment to uh, share with someone that you feel needs to hear this, maybe someone in your team that you know is stuck. Right, they need some help and just sharing this message will give them, help them have the perspective that they need to start to overcome some of those problems. If you haven't checked out my Facebook group yet, I invite you to click on the link below. Uh, join FernandoLoiza.com, join my FB group. It's a, a group that I created specifically for moms, dads, mompreneurs and professional network marketers seeking to become tribe leaders and authorities in their niche. And if that's you, that's what you want to do and you would like this type of ideas, these messages, these resources, then I invite you to join in with me and uh, be a resource there. Okay, that's it for now. Take care, be blessed, and we'll speak real soon. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday wherever you are. Bye-bye.